Nathan here asked, do you have any experience with a fan dipole? I've been looking to build one for 20 and 10 with some thin wire. Uh, do you need, do you, do you know the, the spacing between the elements? So um, I have worked with a 40 and 20 meter fan dipole and uh, they're good. You know, for the most part, they're good antennas. Um, if you're building one, you, um, I think you got to work on the, um, there, there's, there's, there's always going to be a little bit of interaction between those elements. So yeah. you get the 40 meter one up and adjusted, and then you add the, and then you add the 20 meters, or in your case, you know, the 20 meter, and then add the 10 meter. And then, and then when you put that second one in, then you end up kind of tweaking back and forth between the two to just kind of find those, those sweet spots. Yep. So. <clears throat> yeah. And I've, I've uh, built them in several ways. Uh, one way is to put all of the wires in parallel. So you start with the longest one on the top and then another one, maybe a foot below it and another one a foot below that. And so they're all, they're all basically in parallel. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had better luck making them perpendicular. So like the 20 meter one, maybe this way. And then the, the 10 meter one this way. And okay. Um, so you can get crazy. Uh, you know, you could put three, four, six, eight, eight elements on there for all the different bands. But uh, I've had best, my best success with those has been to kind of spread them out rather than running them all in parallel, but either way will work. Yeah. And running in parallel, they don't, the spacing really isn't that critical. You know, it's because right. up at the feed point, they're all going to be connected to the same yep. feed point. Yep. And then they just sort of, you know, they, they jazz hands um, spread mm -hmm. out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's, and uh, it, it doesn't have to be much, you know? Yeah. Like you said, about like, like a foot or so. So it's. Um, yeah. Yep. And you can use uh, like just little plastic tubing for insulators to separate just because you don't want the wires to touch once yep. they start fanning out they just you know you got to keep them separated so if you have any slack in the line or you don't want the wind to blow and have have the wires wires touching but it's pretty forgiving yep mm -hmm. and it's pretty broad band too yes uh, yes they you know, are. just like a regular just like a regular dipole so yeah, and Nathan was looking at a point on the top with differing angles coming down. So, um, yeah, I think yep. that's a good idea. And that would that's that's the traditional, the traditional fan dipole uh, deployment. And then yeah, with Dave, you know, putting his elements perpendicular to each other, you know, it's is sort of sort of different. It's a little bit. Yeah, my, my first but... my first trip to Hawaii, that's what I took with me, and it had uh, elements for twenty and forty. And then when I was in Hawaii, I actually added elements for 30. So mm -hmm. it, it had a feed point up in a palm tree, and then it just ran off to, you know, whatever bushes or things were available. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it worked. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.